This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get right into this review. Okay, so as all of you guys, I watched Power Season 6, Episode 5 tonight. And wow, okay, I caught up on 4 and 5 back to back. I didn't do a review last week because I didn't even watch it. Okay, because I wasn't I wasn't that excited to watch, and I'm gonna be honest with you. Now, I love the series. Big fan for the first couple years. Uh, probably should have ended at the end of last year. Should probably extended it five more episodes and wrapped it up. But they're going into a whole nother season, and they gotta extend it. You know, first Angela passes, now you got okay. Where's it going from here? You know that then this this agent becomes the star agent, and he's horrible acting. Uh, I'm not trying to hate on it. I still enjoy it. Watch Power. Make sure you watch it. It's still fire, but it's also trash at the same time because it's so unrealistic. I mean, Dre's back in the picture, and he's back in the picture working with Ghost. This is a guy who stole his business, snitched on somebody. Uh, they know he's working with the feds, and they're still involving around trying to use him. And now the lawyer, Proctor, is partaking and trying to get rid of witnesses and everything like what lawyer would do that and then and then okay before we get that then tasha meets a guy that walks into the daycare center she set up and they end up having like sex within like five minutes like i can't take it anymore they said i can't do this i need to be a woman you know it's like okay then the acting's just bad okay it's just bad this season for some reason I don't know why. Uh, the police showing Dre. Okay, oh, when the police meet up with Dre, the Fed guy, and then he's like, "Hey, you don't you don't want to mess with me, man." And then look at look where your daughter is. And that they roll down the window with the Fed car. The daughter's in the back, and it's like, "What is this? Uh, what, what is this, the mob or the police?" <laughs> you know, and he's like, "God, oh, my daughter." And he's like, "You want to see her again, right?" You know, like, come on, come on. What is this? You know. Then, uh, oh, Proctor, so the, the mother overdoses, and he doesn't save her. He, the, da the daughter calls him to come save her. She overdoses. He, he, he put her on the edge to make her want to use again by saying everything's great in his life and making her feel like she failed her bargains, you know, all this stuff. So right before she passes, he's like, I'm not going to let you take my daughter. But then the next scene, he's talking to his friend, his fellow friend in his house with his daughter there. She's sleeping in the next room and he's talking about taking out the mom. What? <laughs> with the daughter in the house? Unrealistic. Uh, Ghost let the lawyer at one point stay in his apartment. And his reason for staying in the apartment was he's telling on another one of his clients and it's not safe to stay at home. Well, why would Ghost let you stay in his apartment when you're telling on another client? He's telling on another one of his clients, which I don't think that's possible because you have uh, lawyer-client privilege, like or client-lawyer, whatever it's called. But then Ghost, he's Ghost is his client, so technically you could snitch on him. What? Why trust him? Why trust Dre? Why? Why then the way, okay, so this witness is introduced, like, uh, you know, Dre's supposed to find the witness. So he finds the witness, Ghost goes in there, Dre's live texting behind him. If you're going in there to meet up with a witness and try to pay him off, right? And your man, the, the guy that's snitching on everybody and everything keeps pulling out his phone and texting and he's texting the Fed, right? Wouldn't you notice that? <laughs> Come on. This is so unrealistic, man. Tariq, what happened with Tariq? Everything with Tariq is pretty much unrealistic because Tommy and Ghost are talking to him about taking each other out. But then at the same time, they're saying, you're just a kid, man. You can't move weight like that, man. But yet, then they're treating him like he's an adult. Like, I had to take I have to take out your uncle. Or, you know, Tommy's like, I have to take out your dad, man. I'll let you know when I take him out. <laughs> it's like... Can we have some consistency in the writing? That would be fine with me. If they were just consistent in the writing and it was still unrealistic, I'd be cool with that. 
Then Tommy goes to take out this witness. He uses a silencer. Okay. Then when he goes to take out Proctor because he thinks Proctor's snitching, he uses a semi-automatic sh- machine gun and then <laughs> and takes out the whole penthouse. He sneaks. Uh, D- Tariq lets him in the penthouse by leaving the back door open while Proctor's staying there. And then he takes out the whole penthouse, like Swiss cheeses, the whole penthouse. And then it takes hours for the, for the police to uh, find out that, oh, Something crazy happened up there. We should go investigate. (laughs) I mean, it's just... I'm watching it now just to see how crazy and ridiculous it can get. Because it's like... They're ruining a great show. Like, this show was great. It was a little stretched last season. The love scenes are a little crazy. But, you know, it's, it's whatever. I could deal with that. If it had ended at, like, the last season, you know, they stretched it a few more episodes and wrapped it up, I would have left it like, that was good. But they're ruining it now. And then I don't even know if we can trust 50 Cent doing the BMF series now. If this is if he's involved in this now, I'm sure later he'll say, oh, Courtney Kemp did a lot of the writing on that season, and she doesn't know what, you know, the street is and everything. I mean, these guys are talking about... They're texting back and forth about, you know, crimes, you know, talking on the phone about crimes the past like three or four episodes. It's like, uh, yeah, nobody would really talk on the phone about a lot of this stuff. You know, it's getting really crazy. It's going to be really weird when Ghost obviously is going to start a relationship with uh, Tate's, uh, the person that's running Tate's campaign. And then, obviously, Tasha's going to start up with the, the guy that's a construction worker that drops his kid off. To, uh, <laughs> Tariq, who knows what's going to happen with him. Seems like he was in on it with the the Proctor's, like, bro, whoever that guy is that Proctor's friends with, the felon dude. Because at the end, he nods, ahead to, he nods to him when he drops off the daughter after Proctor's been killed. Like, I guess maybe he was like, Oh, he's a rat. Just gotta, you know, it's like, it just doesn't make sense. A lot of things are not making sense. I, I, I at least it just hopes. Oh, now, now at the end, now the, 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 the low level mob dude that wanted Teresi taken out, he's now got Tariq because Tariq sold him some watered down pills. The, 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 it doesn't make sense. They didn't even show Tariq crushing the pills and reforming them to water them down, you know, to dilute them. He just switched them with aspirin. That doesn't make sense. You got to crush it, crush the the pill, then mix it, then make it a pill again. The oppressor. But they didn't show any of that. And then it turns out the girl that was working with him was really like spying on him and trying to take his organization down. <laughs> oh, gosh. So then now this low-level mob guy has got Tariq and he wants $2 million from Ghost and Tommy. Otherwise, Tariq's going to get it. I would be like, yo, just Tariq's a pain in the ass now. You can have him. In fact, we'll pay you just to get rid of him. The kid's a nuisance. <laughs> oh, man. Anyways, guys, I'll check you on the next one. I just had to get that off my chest and get it off while it was fresh. Appreciate you guys, and I'll check you guys on the next one. Let me know what you guys think below. I still like the show. It's just a little too much at sometimes. It's like, all right, I'll talk to you later. Peace. Great Light Gaze got the new video out called Dope Money Remix featuring Catch Out Calhoun. Make sure you go check it out on his YouTube right now. The YouTube is Great Lake Ace. And make sure you go to his Instagram, Great Lake Ace. Go check it out right now. I was 23, making 28 jump. I was 19.